I've got the main man graffiti block here. Me and him are gonna be telling you the top graffiti bombing tip. Chuck, tell me how it's done. All right. So the first tip that I like to give to you is always put your cans in a cheap, simple cotton bag. It's really strong and if you have to throw it away, you can do it without even thinking about it. My second tip for you, always put your cans in a little box, like a spray can box or anything else. Your cans will keep standing all straight and when you're walking it will make less noise than a spray can that's on its side because a can that's laying on its side will wrinkle a lot. Maybe you'll be giving away the fact that you're carrying spray paint on you. My third tip for you is in this box is a lighter. And you think a lighter. The thing with a lighter is, is that it's not that weird that you're carrying one, right? You're going out for a smoke or something. But if it's really dark, you can see the colors of your cans simply by lighting a little fire. You can also write the name of the colors on the donut of the can. But the thing with a lighter is, is that you can also see which cap is on the can. Perfect, right? The fourth tip I have for you is to always bring gloves. When I just started out painting graffiti, I thought it was cool to have spray paint on my fingers so that everyone could see that I was like a graffiti artist or writer. But after a while, and always getting dirty hands, it's really annoying to keep on cleaning them. But also, if you're a graffiti artist or writer and people just think you're a criminal, you don't want to show anyone that you have paint on your fingers, right? Wear gloves, keep your hands clean and no one can see or will see that you've been painting graffiti. Perfect. And the last and fifth tip I have for you is to, when you're done painting, always remove the caps from the cans. This is simply to prevent having little accidents. Trust me, I destroyed a lot of clothes and bags just by keeping the caps on there and accidentally pressing them. All the paint was in my bag instead of still in the can. Ufo, thank you so much for having me on your channel. Be sure to subscribe to this guy and uh, check out my channel as well if you uh, don't know it already. Thank you, Chuck. You're a friggin' legend. I'll be telling you guys the next graffiti bombing tips. And this one I actually literally thought of when Chuck said it. But when using a lighter, if you get a lighter on you, you can actually, it's very dangerous. I don't condone it, but you can get a lighter, get a can of paint, and then light the spray on fire to dry off the paint on the wall. Generally, sometimes you need to dry the paint off so you can keep working because some colors mix together and they run and all that. It's very dangerous, so it's kind of, uh, yeah. but I figured I'd just add that right in there because I, I don't know, I just thought of it. Another tip would be with the can, with the cap. If you don't want to, if you want to leave the caps on the can, what you want to do is turn it upside down. Turn the can upside down and give it a little spray until it sprays clear. That will ensure that there's no paint in all the nozzle system and it won't dry up and clog everything. But going back with what Chuck said, it's probably best not to leave the caps on in the bags anyway. And my last tip I have for you today, when you're going out bombing, if you're going someone, make sure that they're good at looking out. And make sure that you know exactly what you're looking for when you're going out and scoping places out before you hit a wall or whatnot. Always know where you're gonna run, always know if there's any cameras in sight, if you're going to be spotted by anyone just keep on your toes man just you're on the ball i want to say a massive thank you to graffiti block aka chuck you're a legend man thank you very much for joining me on this video you guys have probably already heard of this guy and probably are already subscribed to it but if you haven't definitely go check him out and subscribe the link will be in the description to his channel thank you very much for watching have a great day and have a good one Thicker packs are now available on redbellyculture.com.